Aloha everyone, my name is Cap. I do developer relations at Sanity. So this is the beginning to a YouTube mini course, whatever you want to call it, on a guide that I wrote that you can find at sanity.io slash guides. It is titled, Build Your First Blog Using React. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We will be building out our blog. It will be built with React. Our content will be managed with, with Sanity, and we will do all of our styling with Tailwind, and that will be towards the end of the course. So let's go over a little bit on what we will be covering. So we will be building out our React single page application, and we will set up our content management using Sanity Studio. We will be doing our navigation for our app using React Router, and to query for all of our data, we're going to use Grok. And again, we will be going through all this as we get through the code and as we go through the videos. At the end, we will be styling the entire application with Tailwind CSS. So let me show you what our blog is going to look like. I already have it up and running on my local host. So I don't have much in there because this is just the beginning of it, but this is going to be our home page. This is where we will see multiple tiles if we had multiple blog posts um, lined up here. If we click into one, we will see, and I just wrote a little bit about the seven magic mountains that's in Las Vegas where I live, but it will have our hero image, our title, author, all that good stuff. But we will be building out these two routes for our application. Now our studio is going to be right here. Okay. So we have our posts. We have our one blog post that we have in there for my very first blog post. So as you can see, those match up. That image is that image. Author, and I've put all this data in there before, but this is where you can find our Sanity Studio. This is where all of our content will live. Now, some prerequisites for this. We will need Node installed. So if we go to nodejs.org, here we will find the download for Node. Ensure that you have that installed. If you want to check, you can also run the command node space dash V to check what version you have or to just double check that you have it. Another thing is um, we will be working in the terminal on a Mac computer. So if you are on a Windows machine, you may need to tweak it a little bit, but this will be the demo will be all on a Mac on a Mac. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to pull this over. All right, so here's my terminal. So this is where we going to, we are going to run a couple commands. And those commands, the first one is going to be to create our React application. There are a couple different ways we can do it, but the simplest one line command that we can do involves NPX. So usually when we want to install something using Node, we use NPM, Node Package Manager. NPX is so we don't have to download it and save it to our computer. It downloads it once for the command, runs the command, and then kind of frees up that space. So it's a really quick way to download, run the command, and move on. To create our first React app, we're going to do whoops, create React app. So npx create React app, and that will be creating our React app. And then the third part of the command is the title or the name of our project. Let's call it um, React blog. Yeah, we'll do React blog. So in here, we see npx create React app blo React blog. So this will be the first command that we run. And we'll run that. And so what it's doing right now is it's building out our React app. There's no sanity started yet. It will set up a, a pretty simple boilerplate application and we'll see once it's finished how that starter app looks. This may take some time and it is almost done. My first um, framework that I learned on was React. So React has a place in my heart forever. I love it. I love React. Um, all right, so it's done. So let's CD into our React blog. So CD is just jumping into the project. And a little shortcut that I like to use is code space period. And that will open up VS Code. And VS Code is where we're going to be um, playing with our code and seeing all of our code for our project. But once we CD into our project, run code uh, space period, hit enter. And here is our entire 
project. Let's look around a little bit. So in here, our source folder, this is where our app lives. So app.js, if we see here in this P tag, edit source app.js and save to reload. If you hit control tilde, it will open up a local terminal for this project. Now I'm going to be running npm start. npm start is our command to get our app up and running. All right, let me pull that over. So this is what it looks. And if we saw in that p tag that we saw earlier in the app.js, that's exactly what it said. So perfect. All right, so we have our React application set up. Let's put that to the side for a little bit. Now, now that our React application is set up, let's keep that running and let's open up a new terminal. All right, so now that we have our React application set up, let's get our Sanity Studio up and running. And then our third step for this video is we're going to connect the two and that's it for video number one. Pretty simple, but we want to make sure this is all set up. If you have not used Sanity before, you may need to run this command. npm install, install, dash g for global, and then it is going to be at Sanity slash CLI. This command will be installing the Sanity CLI. I already have it installed on my machine, so I do not need to run this. What I need to run is Sanity init. So Sanity init will initialize the Sanity project. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna ask me a list of questions. Let's go through each one. Create new project. Yes, for sure, so let's push enter. Your project name, uh, let's call it my, re my React blog. Yeah, enter. The default data set configuration is a public data set, data set named production. Do we wanna use that default? Yes, we do. So we're gonna hit Y and enter. It's creating our data set. Now, does this cr look correct? On your machine, it will be different. Mine has my Kapehe, my documents, um, but that is the correct path of where my Sanity Studio will live. If you, if you look closely though, React blog, this is the parent of our project. And then within the parent will be my React blog. I will go over a little bit more about the structure of the, uh, of the project, but for now, just kind of pay attention to how the Sanity Studio is automatically nested within the parent project name. So it looks good, I'm gonna hit enter. We have a couple project templates we can work with. Movie project, e-commerce, blog, or clean project with no defined schemas. I'm gonna do blog, hit enter. Make sure it's blue before you hit enter. Uh, and then I just moved up and down with arrows to navigate between those. And while that is building, we're gonna see. Okay, so it's finished building. And now what? All right, so we can CD into that project. We can do a couple other things and there are some commands down there for us to try out. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to CD into my React blog, hit enter. And then what we're gonna run is sanity start. Hit enter and this should let us navigate to localhost 3333 and we will be able to see our Sanity Studio. All right, so it's compiling. Let's see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna bring that over. Looks like it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna log in with Google because that's what I have my Sanity um, account with. And if you don't have a Sanity account already, it will give you prompts, or you can go to sanity.io and set up an account there. Just make sure every time that you log in, you remember if you use GitHub, Google, or email. So post, there's no documents. Um, I'm not gonna really add anything right now, but we do have it running. We do have it ready for us to use. If we look over here, here it, and I'm gonna collapse this. So this is our project structure. So React blog, that is what we named it from the beginning when we did NPX create React app, React blog. So that is our parent project. Within that, we have source. And this is where all of our React code lives. My React blog is what we named our project. So I'm gonna click on that. And here we have all of our sanity stuff. We have our schemas, we have our plugins. 
node modules, everything that we would need for our Sanity Studio can be found under here. How do we connect the two? If we go into source, so into our React projects, we want it to be able to call to our Sanity Studio. So to do that, I'm going to create a brand new file. So right click on source and do new file. And we'll do, mm, got to click on that, client.js. That is what we're going to name it. Now in here, this is where we are going to put in our project ID, our project ID and that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to add another terminal and in here, I'm going to install a dependency that we need. So the dependency that we need is the sanity client. By running npm install at sanity client, this is going to be how React is going to jump and find the sanity client and use the project ID to pull the studio and make them one good project. All right, so while that goes, we're gonna bring this down here. Let's import and we'll call it sanity client from client. So here is our import. Okay, so we're gonna do export default and we're gonna do our sanity client. Open that up. Now we're gonna need our project ID. There's a couple ways we can find our project ID. Let me show you the easiest one. So project ID here. We'll go get that in a second. Oh. Next, we're gonna do data set. And remember, we did the default data set of production. So that's why we're gonna put production here. All right, so our client.js is all set up. We've imported the sanity client and we're using it we do need to make sure to fill in our project ID. So the first way to grab our project ID is to come over to my React blog and that installed. So I'm gonna just exit out of this for a second. Open that up. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. Open that up and in here, we're gonna go to our sanity.json. We see our project ID is right here. Let's copy that. Bring it back over here, paste that in, save, and now they're set up. Now they're connected, and that's really it. So that's the first way to do it. The second way to do it, and I'm gonna bring over a Google Chrome tag. If we go to manage.sanity.io, if we are logged in, this will pop up. Now, remember what we called it and I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot of projects. Here's the one we just created, my React blog. So if I click on that, we see our project ID here. That's awesome, cool. So that matches up with that one. So sh those are the two different ways we can uh, grab our project ID. This one from the sanity.json is probably the easiest. Uh, just because it's right there for us. But if you do need to grab it from here, that's also a great way. All right, so there's one last step before we can finish this first video. We want Sanity to be able to know that localhost 3000 is a trusted link for, for our project. We don't want anyone just getting our project ID and being able to do whatever with it. So we need to put in trusted URLs. So under settings, and this is one way to do it. I will show you the second way. Under settings, under API, right here, add new origin. I'm gonna do HTTP localhost 3000 and add that new origin. Now that is there. So if we wanted to um, use our Sanity Studio and be running it locally, this is going to be able to do that. The second way to do this, if we come back into our project, let's bring up our terminal again and let's clear this out. If we wanted to run the command to add it here, we need to cd into our sanity studio, which we called my react blog. And in here we need to do sanity cores add http localhost 3000. So that will also tell the same thing that we did on the manage page. This is just um, how we do it within the terminal. Um, I don't need to push enter, but I guess I will. Yeah, so allow the credentials, yes. 
and it has been added successfully. Now that everything is set up, the reason why we need to connect those two is when we're in our React application and we click into something that holds sanity managed content, it's going to need to call out for that content and we'll uh, go over that in some other videos. But once it calls to it, we need to tell sanity, hey, localhost 3000 is a trusted website. So be feel free to give the content to that link. Um, but this is just how we connect the two, our Sanity Studio and our React app by adding the client.js within the React application. This is where we have our um, project ID. Now, pro tip before I finish this, vi this video off, see how it says 5,000? If we were to push this to GitHub, that would be a lot. So if we go to git ignore, remove that forward slash in front of node modules, hit save, let this refresh. Now it's 22. That's a little bit better than 5,000. Um, but what it was doing, it was, it was it was getting node modules from both projects. So that was just our way of kind of minimizing the amount of files going to our GitHub. But that is if you push it to your GitHub account. All right, so this is the end to video number one. In our next video, we are going to be setting up React routing. That's gonna be mainly in our React application. We won't be doing much with our Sanity Studio in that, in that video, but one step at a time, we're gonna get our blog built out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.